Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still June 1st, it is still Monday, 2020. And we have had a very productive day here at the homestead today. One of two things is going to happen, guys. Either I'm going to get in great shape or I'm going to drop dead. <laughs> oh, all right, so one, two, three more pallets delivered today. And I'm going to take you out here. Tell you what, I earned this right here. Absolutely earned this one today. I am tired. So it's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now. I just threw a couple more wheelbarrows of uh, gravel here. So we made two more beds today. So we got these in. And again, I want you to, I just want you to look at the ground here. All right, this ground is like very uneven. And trying to get these squared away in a way that is going to work has been very, very difficult. So it has not been a whole lot of fun. But we're, we're getting there. We got five beds made now. And we have two more to go. So um, Mike and Becky are coming back out tomorrow. And we're going to get the last two beds in. Uh, one, you know, This will be a, like a four foot area in between. So we can get a wheelbarrow in between here. Uh, we're going to... So we're going to have another one here, and then we're going to do um, another one over here. So uh, the last one might even be up, well, it'll probably be right up about this level as well. Because if we do it at that level, line them up, you know, get the next one and then the next one here, we're still going to be able to have room uh, in between here, because there will be the end of those coming out to here. And we'll actually have, it'll work out perfectly, we'll have about a four foot section um, in between. So, what you see in this one is we kind of figured where we're placing all the rebar. Uh, so this rebar is going to get driven in. We're probably on the corners up here, up on these corners. We're gonna, we already drove one of the pieces of rebar down in there. So we're going to put uh, probably concrete in the corners, just in those corners. And then I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to do gravel on the rest of these. And then I'm going to show you what we're, the game plan is here. So hold on, I'm going to show you. I'm going to buy more of these because once we finish and we get the gravel in those and like that, we'll put those on there. Now you're not going to have the water all going down um, into the concrete blocks all the time because you don't want to have that like in the winter time you don't want that water in there freezing and that type of stuff so if we put these caps and it's, it's going to end up being about 168 caps is what we figured out for all seven beds uh, we'll put those on there and that's going to eliminate that problem so that's going to be the game plan on that um, we are going to take and on the ends we're going to make a wooden uh, door on the ends here, we've decided, so it's easy to get in. Uh, any kind of maintenance that we got to do on the bed, it's going to make it a lot easier. So that's going to be the game plan for that. So that's, that's a lot of rebar, I know, but it's going to lock it into place. Um, I think we're going to end up using stone in the holes. I think that's going to be the game plan, so I'm probably going to have not this fine stone like this. I'm probably going to go with the bigger stones uh, like I had before, and I'll show you. But uh, I think that's what we're going to end up doing um, in the holes, and so that way it's not packed with dirt, which is going to heave and freeze and all that type of stuff. So the stone would help solidify it more in place. So that's going to be the game plan for those. Um, I've decided I'm not putting paper down on the bottom. Uh, you know, it's not needed because it's so deep. And so I'm going to put like, you know, I got some tree stumps and stuff like that that I'm going to put in there first. Uh, then we're going to put in the dirt. And I showed you guys earlier, I had more dirt delivered. So uh, I don't know how much if we got enough guys to do all seven beds. I really don't. But we're going to find out. Uh, I'm going to definitely put some uh, longer branches and stuff like that in the bottoms of these as well. Uh, so that can help rot down and everything like that. And uh, so now we're going to go over here to the woodshed. So what we're going to do, sorry, just having a drink of beer. Um, over here, 
me get up in here so you guys can see. All right. So now um, Greg finished the roof of the woodshed. So that part is now done. So what has to happen now, um, Mike and I are going to take uh, half-inch plywood and slap it up on the inside here. All right. Tie it in both ends. Tie them into the center piece here. So we'll go like halfway. Uh, we're going to go with half-inch plywood. He's picking that up tonight. So when he comes back out tomorrow, um, we'll have that. So half-inch plywood's going to go up the side, and that's going to, you know, that's going to help our sides and stuff like that. So then, okay. So here's. So I'm trying to think ahead. Okay. Have a rainy day. A rainy day I can use for stacking. I can say, okay, well it's raining and it's kind of crappy. I can come in here, start reorganizing this, and I will start right on the edge here. And I'm going to just load it up, and I'm going to build it all the way to the top. And then as I can take, like, that pallet, there would be the next one. Actually, that will be the first one that I'm going to focus on. Um, now, actually, if I want to, because now that the roof is on, I can uh, actually take... Oh, look at that, look at that guys. There he is. He just went under there. I hope you saw him. There's a snake sitting there. <laughs> we have garter snakes up here. Uh, nothing deadly. All right, we got to come on the other side. But I can take this uh, tarp off of here now, which is good. And... Got another one. Look at that. Right there. See him? Right there. I guess we know where the snakes are, right? Let's see if we can find some more over on this side. Hold on. Cool, we're on a snake hunt. All right. Let's see what we can find. Well, so anyway, that wood is now under there. It's protected that way. We're going to put the ends on. The airflow will go through these spots here uh, to help dry wood out. Now, this is very seasoned wood already. Uh, so that's going to, you know, get stacked in here. And it may look like there's a lot in there, but I got a lot that I can go. I can go a lot higher, uh, fill in those ends. And uh, it's going to be... That's going to be much better, and so I ain't worried about that. But so I'll start down at the end there, and I'm just going to stacking it up. So and I'm going to leave room on the front here so I can go in and hit. I will start from that end next winter, working my way this way. Uh, we have all this wood here that will have to be restacked in here as well. So those are that's what you know. Once um, once we get these beds made and done. I'm going to focus on that. I'll take a couple of days and I'll do this part and get that done. And, uh, you know, like I said, if we get a rainy day, it's a perfect day to come in here underneath once we get the sides on. And we may do that tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, i got to talk to Mike and see where we're at. Uh, you know, even if, so here's, here's what I'm thinking. Even if we get that end on tomorrow, okay, if we put that end on tomorrow, at least I can start. <laughs> So um, I kind of want to get this done because I want to order more wood and I want to have it all squared away. I have to put more gravel in the bottom of this as I'm continuing. So uh, as you, you know, I got wood, or I got gravel here in the front and uh, along this side. You know, I have gravel all through here in this area here. Uh, I can actually. You know go a long way I'll clean off all this wood here and that can get stacked up I mean literally all of this here in this here won't even fill that up I can t I tell you that right now I know it won't so that'll be good and so I can get this organized and then as I do that I can come in and bring in more uh, gravel even if I come from the backside 
you know, and get it in there. So that's kind of the game plan with that one. But the, sh the roof is now on um, the woodshed. Uh, Greg and I tied these in this morning, uh, and we put these ones on here, uh, and, and we the outside one here. Um, there's an outside one there that we put on as well. And then he went up on top and, and put all those in, and then he put the roof on. So he was doing that. Um, I asked him if he wanted me to help him do that or to help, you know, with Mike, what he was doing. He said, I don't need you for this part. And I said, okay. So um, he focused on that, got that done. Now, you're probably wondering, and I'll explain real quick. We put these in here, right? Now, I, I still, I'm going to have to tie these in here. So I got some screws that I'm going to have to put into there to tie them in, which is not a big deal. But that... Um, the extra piece here okay and that's been screwed in all along it's screwed in two on each of the posts and then there's a uh, two by four up on top here that is tied in all along there as well and then in the front it's the same thing okay so we got the one there the two in the middle and the one on the back so what that is those are run the whole length of everything that's helped to deal with, to deal with the snow load um, we could have three foot of snow on this and it's not going to be an issue. Now it's slanted downwards as you can see, okay, and that's going to help the snow as the sun comes up and wherever it may be and get the snow and it'll go off the back. And so that's the game plan with that. Uh, you know, so that's what we're at. That's what we're working on and, uh, you know, I'm really happy. I mean, it's, it's amazing uh, things are coming together. So this is realistically... Uh, a couple hours of work on this and this one will be done and then I can get to work on stacking uh, you know we're making good progress on these raised beds uh, that's been a lot of work a lot of work and uh, so we have five of them essentially done I mean they're still obviously have to do all the rebar and the concrete and stuff like that and then get stuff in there and then move all the dirt in there but the that part of it the concrete part of it will will be done so another bed there another bed over here and we're gonna be good to go and uh, so I'm pretty excited about that and uh, I'm looking forward to having this done uh, it has not been a tremendous amount of fun I can tell you that it's been a great workout I guarantee you I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight I uh, started about 8 o'clock this morning and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon now so you know we were we were moving along it may not look like a lot but trying to get it all level and get it all scored away and all that type of stuff and then, you know, you're moving all that block. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's not a, not a whole lot of fun. So, but everything's going to be tied in. So I hope that explains it with the rebar, how things are going to be tied in. Um, you know, somebody came on the channel and be like, dummy, you forgot to put the concrete in, the, in between. Well, they're going to move. Um, so, you know, with the ground, uh, you know, I'm in the northeast. You know, we have cold variations of temperatures, so you want it so that it's going to hopefully be steady. That's why all the rebar, put stone in there, it's going to keep it really solid. And then we're going to obviously use, um, you know, the caps, um, like I showed you over here. And that's how we're going to do it. But uh, we're making great progress. Oh, i got to tell you this, guys. You're not going to believe this. So Lowe's, when they deliver these um, pallets okay of uh, with the blocks they charge you fifteen dollars per pallet okay so if you take the pallets back they'll give you your money back so it just makes it very inconvenient for whoever you want it when you're getting it now I gotta load these up I gotta drive all the way back to Lowe's and I absolutely am for fifteen dollars a pallet because realistically you know where these were gonna go they were gonna go to, uh, on the burn pile that's where they were gonna go so um, you know, for the four that we had earlier, there's 60 bucks, uh, and then another, you know, um, 60, then you got 90, and then you have, uh, another 15, so $105 for seven pallets. I'm definitely going to go back and get my money back for that. There's no way I'm eating that. So, that's crazy. Uh, I did not even know they did that with the first load. Uh, they told me with the second one, oh, you realize there's a $15 charge per pallet. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, but if you bring the pallets back, you'll get it back. I'm like, okay. 
So um, it'll end up being two trips. I'll take these four, I'll put them in mom's car uh, or Mike's truck. We'll probably do, oh, actually, we might do that. We'll just take them in Mike's truck and uh, we'll go take a ride down there and uh, turn them in. Once, you know, once we get the next two beds made, because off of this one, um, we finished, this was the one that we already had here. So off of this one, uh, we finished the rest of that. We'll use um, this one and the other one over there. And uh, that won't, those won't, we won't use, or we'll use all of those and then we'll pro still use some of these as well. So if we have anything left over, it's going to go on this pallet. And that'll be that. But, um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So actually, we're going to go over here real quick and we'll check on the chickies. Uh, and then we'll do, we'll get an egg count. Because I'm not doing another video after this one today. I just wanted to give you an update. I knew this week is going to be a long, arduous week, and that's okay. Uh, you know, and we're making progress. We're getting things done. So uh, we will have the outdoor garden in. We will have the wood, uh, the woodshed done. Uh, again, what I may say, let's build one tomorrow and finish off the woodshed. And then we'll just do one more the next day because it's a, it is an absolute pain in the behind. Oh, okay. So we have three more there. And they're probably not done, to be honest with you. So, and we got no more other than that one. Okay. Uh, we had uh, five earlier. And so with these three, that gives us eight. And it's still only four in the afternoon. I'm sure we'll get more. So I'm actually, a couple times, the chickies, the babies, have gotten in uh, with the big boys and girls. And so I'm thinking what I may end up doing is uh, fairly soon, like within the next week, at night, putting them in with the other chickens because they're getting bigger and I'm hoping that that, uh, that transition because they seem to be getting along fine between the fence but uh, once we introduce them to the rest of the flock and then I really am going to clean the crap out of this area uh, it is a mess but I knew that was going to happen and that's okay but uh, yeah I, I'm thinking I got about a week and then they're gonna go in with the rest of the flock and intermingle and see how they do and if there's any issues uh, then I will take them back out. I will absolutely watch them uh, really, really well to make sure. So I, what I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking because of the fact that they are getting along, I might throw them over there um, first thing in the morning and see how they do. Uh, so that way I can sit there and watch them and uh, make sure they're not being bullied too badly. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm thinking that one of the hens is probably going to take them under her wing and watch out for them. I think you're going to see that happen. So, because uh, I have like Red is really intent on watching them, and she's a really gentle uh, chicken. So I think you're going to see that she'll be the one that makes that move to uh, protect the babies. So anyway, guys, long video. I apologize. I get rambling, but uh, I'm excited with what we're doing. We're making great progress, and things are getting done. Uh, very busy, but good. Busy in a good way. And then we will get going on here. And in, in the inside, I got, like I said, I got to get the plastic up on the inside. So I got to see how much I have left with what I have. And then I probably, I know I don't have enough. I guarantee you I don't have enough. So I will end up having to buy more plastic. And, uh, you know, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. But, uh, you know, some people have asked me, and I'm going to be 100% honest. Um, people have asked me where I got the greenhouse, and I talked about that when I first got the greenhouse and stuff like that. I would have a real hard time uh, recommending the company because we never received any directions with it. So trying to figure things out in the beginning, it was a, it was a real cluster FU, if you know what I mean. And so it was very, very difficult. And, uh, you know, I had to call him several times. Um, he was supposedly giving me enough plastic to do both the outside and the inside. And I can guarantee you there's not enough plastic to do both. And it's not like we used uh, huge excess amounts of plastic on the outside. We didn't. So we had very little waste on the outside. So 
Uh, I'm going to do the best I can, and then I'll just try to get something else to help that barrier on the inside. And we're going to go from there. But uh, So that's that's where we're at. Oh, i, I got to mention one more thing before I sign off, guys, because I have to laugh about this. Okay. Uh, I'm very dark-skinned. Always have been. That's what people always thought I was Italian. Um, when I get a real good tan on, people think I'm Puerto Rican. So the funny thing is somebody had said in a little uh, one of the videos, Oh my God, I hope you're using sunscreen. Uh, I will tell you what I used to do when I was younger, when I was in my early 20s. I've never used sunscreen in my life, ever. Um, never needed to. Uh, I, like, if I ever got a burn, it was like one burn, and then, uh, you know, then it's gone. But uh, generally, I just get darker, darker, and darker. What I used to do as a kid, I would take baby oil, and I would mix it with betadine. And I would lather that all on myself, and I would lay out in the sun. <laughs> you want to talk about cook and get dark? Oh, my God. So, yeah, um, I did that for a little bit. Not, I didn't do it for, like, years and years and years. I did it a couple of years, and that was it. Then I got busy and never did it again. But uh, I love being outside. If I'm outside, again, I don't have a shirt on because it, I'm sweating. Um, even today, it's a cooler day. But I was sweating, and my shirt came off pretty quickly, and I haven't had it on all day. So we got a lot of sun, I'm sure, today. Uh, you know, and I, you know, I don't burn; it just gets darker. I just get darker. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, um, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Please remember that. Uh, just keep working at things, and they're going to get done. You know. Uh, also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, if you work at things methodically, uh, they will get done. Um, you know, nothing happens overnight. There's, no, there's nothing that magically, boom, is done overnight. If you work at something and if you put in that effort... Things are going to get done. You're going to make progress. And that's a really cool feeling. And it's awesome when you see that progress happening. So um, really, really pleased with everything that we've gotten done in the last, just in the last couple days. Um, you know, we did take Sunday off. But, uh, you know, we put in a good day Saturday. Uh, we put in a good day today. A lot of progress today. So, I mean, the woodshed is almost done, which is awesome. So just a matter of putting those two sides on. And we are good to go. And uh, so I'm excited about that. And uh, we're going to get rocking and rolling on this thing. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm real happy. Real, real happy about it. So anyway, so that's where we're at. Uh, that's what's happening. And I hope everybody has a great day. I hope your week is going to start out well for everybody. Uh, please avoid the craziness that is out there. Uh, you know, just be safe. Okay? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1. I'll